everybody. Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I'm going to read you a story tonight about something that I love. Now, I love hats. I have all different kind of hats at my house and I wear hats at different times. I love hats. And this is a book all about hats. In fact, it's called Very Good Hats. Very Good Hats. This is a book about everything that can be a hat. Real hats, pretend hats, who has hats, who likes hats. This is a great book about hats, and I love it because I love hats. And I think you're going to like it too because it's such a fun story. Are you ready to get inside this book with Miss Dorothy? Good. I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. Very Good Hats. Written by Emma Straub, illustrated by Blanca Gomez. Do you know what a hat is? I bet you think you know what a hat is. Well, I think I know what a hat is. Some people think hats are fancy things you can buy at a haberdashery. Um, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. A haberdashery is a fancy store that sells only hats. Acorns make snug hats for your fingers. Raspberry, chewed up gum, tortellini, and doll shoes work too. Look, they drew faces on their fingers and used all kinds of things to make it look like his fingers are wearing a hat. An empty pudding cat makes a good hat for a stuffed bear. Wow, she ate all her pudding and then took the cup and put it on top of her bear. Cats and other small furry creatures are good hats in winter time. They've got cats and a bunny on their head? That's their hat? Hardcover books are nicely dramatic hats if you have excellent posture. It's really hurt hard to hold a book on your head. Paperback books are floppier than a soggy beret. Bubbles make very fine hats. Um, if temporary. You can make a hat out of bubbles, but they're going to go away really fast. A crown is a hat for a queen, but flowers can be too. The roof is the house's hat, and a lid is a pot's hat. Everyone knows that. Yes, a lid on a pot is just like a hat. Pajama pants make a very dangly hat. And towels are twirly hats, majestic as a unicorn. Have you ever put a towel on your head and made a big pointy hat? Some hats come with the job, like a cowboy hat, a chef's hat, a pirate's hat, a firefighter hat, ooh, and a guard's hat, and an astronaut's helmet. That's a hat. Empty bowls work. But you have to make sure they're empty first. Ugh. Otherwise, you might have a soup hat instead. She forgot to take the soup out of the bowl. Some of the best hats come from grandparents. Grandma and grandpas do have the best hats. If you're an airplane, you get to wear a cloud. If you're a scooter, you have two hats. Your helmet and the wind. At the baseball stadium, hats are filled with ice cream. Oh, yum. I'd love a hat filled with ice cream. You can make a mummy hat out of toilet paper, but the cat will try to eat you. If a turtle can tuck its head into its shell, does that make its shell a hat? Seems like it would. Some hats are just falling leaves. When the leaves fall on your head in autumn, it's like a hat of leaves. You see, hats are everywhere you look. Anything can be a hat if you believe it is. Wow, I didn't know so many things could be hats. I have a lot of hats at home, but they were using stuff that I never even knew could be a hat. Did you see when they used the bowl for the hat? But she really should have taken the soup out of it first because now she has a hat full of soup in her hair. I love hats and this book was so much fun because we got to see everything that we can pretend to be a hat. You can probably find anything around your house. Put it on your head and have yourself a very special hat. 
That would be fun. Think about that tomorrow. Look around your room and say, hmm, what hat can I wear today? And put something on your head and then say, this is my hat. I like that. That would be a lot of fun. We should try that tomorrow, not tonight, because the only hat we need to put on right now is our sleeping cap, because it's time for all my friends to get into bed. I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow, when you are playing with the different hats, hmm, if you try to use something and mom says, no, put that back, you got to be careful, and you've got to obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy because I'm going to be sitting right here ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe like and share. I'll see you soon.